Hi everyone, welcome to uh, another episode of Sketchman Draws. This is Boris. So today I'm going to draw, uh, I'm going to study actually Mobius. Um, I mean, <laughs> there's no uh, like amount of uh, like, um, there's no calculator that can calculate the influence that this artist had in the world and other comic book artists and I just wanted to like just to, and again I saw a comment that um, you know I was doing like a trying to ink like crumb and <laughs> of course I'm you can never <laughs> become crumb, um, but just by you know it's like faking till you make it kind of thing. So but 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 just by kind of like trying to draw what they drew. Uh, can give, I can, I don't know, like some ideas about how to approach my own art and that's what the study is. So I'm going to be drawing this panel here. Um, and one of the things that I've been like really struggling with is um, texture. And Mobius has this really shorthand for texture. Um, so, um, let me maybe put the gutters here. Yeah, let's just sit it's approximately it. Just trying to put everything on the screen. <laughs> Difficult. Um, so I think it's it's good to establish that um, the perspective there. And I think most of the time, he just does wonder, well, like, I mean, as I'm saying this, I just noticed, like, the next panel, he's not doing one, one point perspective, but. It's also really pleasant because uh, I just bought this book yesterday. This is the Inkle, for those who don't know. And, um, just really that new book smell. I really love that. Very uh, intoxicating in the good sense of the word. Okay, there's that caption here. So, I don't know, just wondering like how, like I'm sure like, you know, and one of the things like I'm, I'm sure that He's not googling images for references and he's just like the he, he has is he's built his like, internal visual library to a point where uh, he doesn't need to like you know google how an uh, interior of a train looks like um and because it's a science fiction and i think uh <laughs> you can kind of get away with but at the same time you know you need to make it look believable especially science fiction like this where um it's kind of like greedy science fiction this is so this is what i'm talking about the the texture let me bring it close to the camera so these kind of like really random kind of squiggle uh, squiggles and squiggly lines that he does is they're just like flat lines but they're just so like calculated I don't know like, uh, they just give this texture that uh, like for me for, for example if I was drawing this okay I'll draw that and, and then I'll just leave this like empty and now I, I always was like very uh, insecure about the way my art looked like uh, I mean I'm, I'm I'm pretty confident and I'm pretty you know I can tell when I've done a good job in figure drawing 
and when I haven't, but um, when it comes to like backgrounds and especially the the texture of the background, it's yeah. I always like yeah, just leave it blank, and then I was like. Yeah, but I feel like there needs to be something there. Of course, color can do that, but... Um, like, I'm in a point where I have to do everything, which is uh, pencil and ink. I mean, sometimes even write. So, for the moment, I just have to... Um, and I was going to say, I mean, in my mind, I had a, like, I was going to say, if it looks great in ink, it will look great in in, in color, which is not true. Um, like, I, uh, I'm i sure that, you know, it's all, it has to work together, because otherwise, um, and he's just, telling so many stories within this um so he has a foreground this character in the foreground and he's just like i'm sure like he's like casually just again maybe he's not looking at um Yeah, maybe he's not looking at, you know, the, like, Google image, but I'm sure he's, like, you know, like, like most artists has his shelves full of reference books and uh, people in costumes. And he's just, like, um, grabbing the books and also grabbing the borrowing reference, uh, the, the, some points, like, maybe the hat from here and the, uh, the hairstyle from another magazine and so on. Um, I also heard that he was really fast um, in that documentary, famous documentary with uh, Jodorowsky. So when uh, Jodorowsky uh, was supposed to make Dune, um, By the way, I should go and watch that movie by Denis Villeneuve, but I don't know, I've been very lazy. But I'm afraid that I'm going to lose it because I think it's going to go out of theater. And I think though that movie, I mean, it has to be watched in the theater. Same thing, I, I don't know how much he's penciling. Um, at some point, like, you know, I'll, I'll put some money and uh, try to buy some of his uh, art books. I'm sure there's a Mobius art book, right? Actually, there's an art book, but it's just his finished. Um, I like, I'm interested in process. I would like to see his process. And this uh, woman with the hat here. That's, that is iconic. That is, uh, that's just Mobius there. And for some reason, your eye still goes to the main character. Almost looks like a rat. I 
can hear like I'm sure like he's not even thinking about it. Probably just going out and uh, sketching. Um, trying to. Oh, okay. She has a paper in her hand. One of the things in uh, studies is that you notice things that uh, you might not have otherwise. By the way, the story selling is, uh, you know, strong as you would imagine. Like, I don't know like how much time it takes for him to do one panel. Maybe. Cause the, like, as I'm just drawing one panel, um, I can see the, the effort that it has has to go in with just one panel the mileage is uh, amazing Oh, yeah, sorry, my, my mind is uh, wandering. I was going to say the um, in the documentary um, Jodorowsky's Dune, uh, Jodorowsky says like you know he really taught, like Mobius can draw anything and he's really fast and <laughs> he does that sound that uh, how fast Mobius drew those storyboards for him. I'm just getting lost here. So this one comes here. Uh, I could. I wish I could do one panel like this in a comic. <laughs> I'm going to use this some, somehow, uh, I don't know where, but that kind of texture. So yeah, here you go. This was my little study. Nothing close to the master, never it's not possible. Just like trying to kind of, it's like, um, I don't know if you copy a great writer, if you'll become a great writer now, but uh, at least, I mean, but by reading and uh, spending time to think and even discussing with friends, I'm sure that that is uh, something that will uh, help you. I also feel like the mechanical pencil because he's like has this very thin line that uh, he's known for and of course ink lines but no I think it's very appropriate to draw, draw with this.
Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and he's probably like, you know, again, like I said, he's just, he's probably absorbed so much things, so many things that he's not stopping. Like, um, I'm sure he's like, just goes in and probably stops when he's physically tired. But I think he just goes and probably just like Kim jong Gi just keeps drawing all the time. And, um, so yeah, the, I mean, again, I just wanted to put out a video and let you guys know that I'm started reading the Inko. Um, when I finish, I'll do a video on this, um, and, uh, we'll talk more in detail about Mobius's art. And, um, I'd like to thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions or any requests for any future videos, please let me know. Any artists you want me to cover, any artists you want me to uh, study live, you can also uh, request that in the comment section below. So thank you very much uh, for watching, and this is Boris for Sketchman Draws, signing off.